Hello and welcome to uh, Standard Conditional Proof 2. Now in this video, we will be taking a few questions. Questions which do not have material implication as the main connective, right? So because last in the last video, we saw that how the what is the theory, how to apply uh, Standard Conditional Proof, what are the things which you should keep in mind and how to solve uh, Standard Conditional Proof questions. But those questions which we took those were solved examples in your book as well. Uh, but those questions were having implication as the main connective. Now, in this video, we will take two to three questions and none of them will have uh, implication as the main connective. And we will see that uh, whether we can apply, or definitely we can apply, and what should be the strategy of solving these questions. So, let us start with a simple question. Okay. So, this is the question. Uh, your question is E wedge F implies G uh, then H implies I dot J therefore E implies G dot H implies I so this is the question uh, if you can see in this question this question has a dot or conjunction as the main connective so you cannot apply SCP, uh, you cannot apply CP in this question, right? But definitely you can apply SCP on this question. You can also apply indirect proof, IP on this question. You can apply IP on any question. You can apply SCP on any question, but you cannot apply CP on every question, right? So that is the idea. So let us see how we will do this question. Now, before solving this question, again, we need to develop a strategy. Now, what should be the strategy? The strategy is, that if I assume E and create G, so I will get E implies G. Then I need to assume H and create I. So I will have H implies I. Then I will conjoin these two. Right? So that is the strategy of solving this question. So let us try it. And I will remove this rough word from here. And let us try to solve this question. Now, as I told you that we need to assume E. So I am assuming E. Okay. Now with E, uh, this is you can call it SCP assumption. I will make it E wedge F because I need to enter this line. So third addition, then step number five, I will get G. So this is one, four modus points, right? So I will put a closure, E implies G, so this will be 3 to 5 SCP, fine. So half of the work is done. Now let us try the other part. Now what we need to assume H. So we assume H, and 2, we can call it 1. Depends. You may not write it. You may not even write this because you are using this arrow. So this arrow clarifies that it is an SCP. But for clarification, for more clarification, I am writing it. So H, if I get, I will get I dot J. This will be 2, 7, MP. Now as you can see, I will not be able to use these steps. Right? So I am not going to use these steps. But it will not be required as well. So 9. I will simplify i. This is the requirement. So this will be 8 simplification. And on line number 10, I will put the closure here. So I will get h implies i. This is from 7 to 10 SCP. Fine. So I have got my desired things. So on step number 11, what I can do? e implies g dot h implies i so this is going to be 6 10 conjunction so i reached my result my desired destination whatever was required is solved and it was as i told you it's a pretty simple question right but you can see the strategy and you also need to understand that these steps cannot be used after here and these steps cannot be used from here right so you cannot use certain steps here and there which has been told to you in the theory and you need to keep it in mind 
properly because if you use a step from here or a step from here here and all these things then it will be not as per the logic so it was quite a simple question of something which you uh, anybody can solve but the strategy needs to be there so uh, we started with a simpler question now let us take a little bit uh, less simpler question right because uh, we need to go above uh, in this ladder of solving the questions with SCP and with precision, right? So let us take another question from your book, which is uh, going to be like this. W implies negation of X dot negation of Y dot Z implies mm, negation of X wedge Y. This is the first line number. The second line number is A implies W dot negation of B implies Z. The third line number is A implies X dot B implies Y. Therefore, X triple bar Y. Now, this is the question which you need to solve. Now, in order to solve this question, you need to see again, you cannot apply CP here, right? Because it is a um, material equivalence. Now, in material equivalence, what we know? That uh, material equivalence is basically a conjunction of material implications, right? So, the strategy can be, the strategy is like if I assume X and create y so i will get x implies y then i will take y and create x so i will have y implies x then i will conjoin together and i will get x triple bar y so that is the understanding that is the way a question can be solved so this needs to be uh, thought of or this needs to be something which you need to uh, Keep in mind in order to solve this question. Now, how to solve this question? Let us try, right? Uh, I will remove this from here and let us try to solve this question. Mm, I need to take X first, okay? So, this is SCP assumption 1. Fine. So, I need to enter. Now, from X, uh, I need to enter this line and you do not find a line where you can enter, right? So, you are a little bit worried about that how to solve this question, right? Because uh, if you take X, you cannot see on any line if you can operate. Because if you simplify this line or if you simplify this line also, there is negation of X which is there. Here X is there, but this X will not go on this line, right? So this is also not going to help. So what can be the strategy? I know another strategy. If, 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 you, if you are stuck here, so you can think of your strategy, but I can tell you one more strategy. The strategy is, if you take negation X and create negation of Y, so you will get negation of X implies negation of Y, right? Okay. Then you take negation of y and create negation of x. So you will get negation of y implies negation of x. Now you know what is this? This is going to be y implies x. You know what is this? This is going to be x implies y. And your purpose will be served. Because again you can create x triple bar y. Right? We do it, right? So this is the strategy. So let me do it like this. I will remove this and I will not take X, rather I will take negation of X, fine, okay, now life will be simpler. 
Step number five. I will simplify this. A implies X. Third simplification. Step number six. Negation of X applied here. Negation A. Five, four modus tollens. Right? Okay. Negation of A. Now, what I will do with negation of A? Where I can use negation of A? Because I need to create Y. Okay. I found the error in the question. The question has negation of A implies W and negation of B implies Z as the second premise. So, because of that, we were stuck. Anyways, now since we have got negation of A, we can also simplify this. So, we will write negation of A implies W. So, this will be second simplification, right? Now, uh, on this, we will apply negation of A. So, we will get W. So, this will be 7, 6 modus ponens, right? So, we will get W. Now, once we have got W, we can enter this line. Uh, what we will do? We will make W implies negation of X dot negation of Y. So, this will be first simplification, right? So, on line number 10, we can apply modus ponens here. So, we will get negation of x dot negation of y. So, uh, this will be 9, 8 modus ponens, right? And on step number 11, what we will do, we require negation of y from here. So, we will simplify negation of y from here. So, what we will get, we will get 10 commutation then simplification right and now if we put a closure on this line so i will write it here i will get on line number 12 negation of x implies negation of y this will be 4 to 11 scp this is the step which i will get right now i can uh, use exportation and write it as y implies x or transposition and say 12 trans as well as I should write it as double negation because there will be two negations which will be developed once we will be transposing it. So now you can see that y implies x we have reached. Exactly in the similar way you will get uh, Negation of y implies negation of x, which will give us x implies y. I will tell you the strategy rather than solving it because as you can see that the space is uh, not much. And if I have to solve it, so I have to remove these steps. So you will understand it, how to solve it. Now, once you take negation of y, hmm? so once you take negation of y, you have to simplify this. From negation of y on this, you will get negation of b. From negation of b, you will get z. From Z, you will enter this line and you will get again negation. You will use modus ponens and you will get negation of X dot negation of Y. From there, you have to simplify negation of X. So that will be another step. So suppose on line number, say right now it is 13. So maybe on line number 20, you will get uh, negation of Y implies negation of X. So on 21, you will get x implies y. I am not writing these steps here or the justifications here because you know how to solve it. So you will get x implies uh, y. So now you have to conjoin these two, right? So on 22, you will get uh, x implies y dot y implies x. So this will be the conjunction of say 13 and 22. We will conjoin it and with this you will get the result x triple bar y 22 material equivalence but these steps you need to do right even if i am not doing it i think that you will be able to do but if you are finding it difficult or uh, you should not leave it first you try to solve it and you will see that it is quite easy and solve it uh, for your own sake because it will be very much required by you people to solve because um, if somebody is solving for you it is not going to help you what is going to help you is your own effort is your own um, i will say 
uh, interest in solving this question. So you try to solve it and you will reach this result. And once you will reach this result, your answer is uh, done or you have reached the result, uh, the answer as well. So these are um, a couple of questions which I wanted to take for uh, the SCP part 2. When we will come uh, or the next video which uh, will be there uh, will be a coffee question on SCP. Right. So till that time you try to solve a lot of questions with SCP uh, so that you learn the technique and you also learn that how to solve this question and you also understand that how certain things can become difficult or certain things can come and you need to develop your own strategy and all because developing strategy is going to be very important. SCP can be applied on any question like IP right but you need a strategy once you have a strategy questions become simpler questions are solvable if you do not have a strategy questions become difficult and sometimes unsolvable as well so i request you to take any question whatsoever wherever you find and apply ip as well as scp and see what you can do with that that will enhance your practices